So, today's vlog, there's no intro. Well, there will be an intro, but first off, we're going to start today's vlog with a very serious conversation, and that is that I lied to you guys. Two vlogs ago, I made a promise, and last vlog, I did not fulfill that promise. Some people, I know that I triggered a lot of you guys, AKA the Trigger Squad, and I am here with a sincere apology because it's a very big deal. It's really not a big deal, but we're gonna say it's a, <laughs> we're gonna say it's a big deal. And that, of course, is that the purple, the purple vinyl, I promised this would be gone. We're not gonna do it at the end of today's vlog. I'm not gonna do it in two minutes. We're gonna do it right now. Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> Bam, bam, bam. What do you guys think? You dig it? If you dig it, be sure to smash the like button. If you don't dig it, also be sure to smash the like button. Continuing on, oh, I gotta intro the vlog. Hey, welcome back to the vlog. So in today's episode, we remove the vinyl from the box of the Gallardo. In the last upload, there was a, there was a slight mix up with one of the go-karts in the parking garage. It, it, One of the bolts as a part of this steering linkage unfortunately snapped, so I am racing down to Salt Lake City, hopefully find a replacement part at one of the local go-kart shops, who knew, and then race back to Park City, fix the go-kart, and then Clayton and I will be competing in our first series of go-kart challenges. So you're not gonna wanna miss it. Clayton's newest project is this sick, sick Corvette Z06 doing a paint protection build. All right, so. Lambo, onto the Jeep. Oh, I gotta, I gotta put the cover on. Um, I'll see you guys right there. All right, there we have it. Supposedly there is a golf cart shop. No, golf. There's a go kart. Why am I? I'm not. I'm not playing nine holes today. There's a go kart shop supposedly here in Salt Lake City. It's called M Squared Karting, and it's right there. Who knew? Who knew? This is the place, boys. We got tires everywhere. You even have a two-person go-kart. How wicked is that? Unfortunate news, they don't have it. Check that out. We have an R32 GTR. All I can say, mate, don't test those turbos. This seems like an appropriate time to update you guys on my trial. My court appearance for the ticket in the R34 GTR it is July the 24th, 10.15 a.m. at the King County Courthouse. I still have about two weeks of innocence before I'm proven guilty. So, gotta enjoy it. Okay, so here is the Hemi Bolt that Clayton kind of ended the life prematurely of. But it's okay because we have a parts cart. Yeah, we order, we're gonna order some new, some new ones of these here pretty soon. But for the time being, for today, because obviously, that gotta, one's not going anywhere. We, we gotta take the cart out again. I think um, I might be more excited about owning this cart right now than I am about that car. <laughs> just, just leave, we'll just leave it there. <laughs> there we go. She's quiet. All right, Big first ride. Woo! Nice and cozy back there. Ready to go. Bam. So you're gonna have to scoot over, dude. Yeah. I call first though. Just like that. There goes a little south. these trash cans don't have an owner, which would make me assume that they're kind of here for the taking, AKA slalom course. Today is the opening day of the race season. We're here at the Sundance Overflow lot. It's gonna be a pretty technical course today. We have these trash can lids for a crazy slalom course. We have four competitors today. Myself, we got Clayton Stark, we got Faith, and we got Bailey. 
This is gonna be, this is gonna be sick. He's DQ'd! He's disqualified! He made it! Two lids! Two lids! Two, one, <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice job. Breaking time right now. Go, go, go! go, go. Dude, he's showing us up on our own carts. Twenty two point six nine. That's not good, that's not good, that's not good. We got a police interceptor. Go, 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 go! Okay, so we just got intel that there's a red Ferrari Enzo in Kimball Junction, just outside Park City. So, luckily we're in the Astro, full throttle. Whoa! <laughs> I'm telling you guys, the power of the Astro van cannot be compared. This thing is, it's invincible. What do you think, Sal? Get out of the way! We're trying to catch an Enzo. R8 with green wheels. Oh, there it is. Sick. That is so wicked. Dude, do you get right? the eyes? We have it's Salt so City wicked. Cars and we have SP SCPD Media. Yeah, right here. <laughs> that is sick. And we're putting oh, the cart up. next to the Enzo for the thumbnail. I apologize. That's my bad. But how good is that? Put they match too. I'm sorry, guys. I'm clickbaiting you, but I need a cool thumbnail. Obviously, we didn't race the Enzo, but. Too good of an opportunity to pass up. You guys know the drill on this car. There's 399 Enzos in the world. This is the most miles Enzo was on the cover of road and track. In the Utah Fast Pass Rally a number of years ago, the owner wrecked it going like 190 miles per hour. The car was completely incinerated and it was rebuilt into a twin turbocharged Enzo. They ran it on the Bonneville Salt Flats, some set some type of world record and now it's been converted back to road use. Just look at the extent of those exhaust pipes right there. What a beast. What a hero for driving it on the road. This wrap is so sick on this Audi R8. You got the highlighter green Vossen wheels, as you do. Apparently he does not like Ferraris, he does not like BMWs. Mate, come on, really? Lambert Audi owns Lamborghini, come on now and he's gonna do a burnout for the subscribers thank you so much mate 
Do Wait, what are you doing? I thought we were doing a burnout. Let's check out the supercharger. First. Oh, okay. First, supercharger first, burnout second. Oh, nice. You got the carbon boxes too. What kind of horsepower? I'm not sure. We're just gonna say 700, because it's a V8 R8. Yeah. Stock is pushing what 420. Yeah. So maybe it's pushing somewhere in the 600s. We'll say. I believe so. I really want to hear that Enzo start up, but major fatigue has set in. I'm about to pass out, so naturally, we're gonna go get a burger at Five Guys first. If the Enzo leaves, well, that's what happens. 96. 96. Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Like that, we're hopping in the R8. I don't know how this happened, but I am not complaining. Still there. We sit and we wait. I just want to hear that car so bad. See you, man. I think it's safe to say this is probably the only Enzo in the world that has a hitch. MM, that stands for Most Miles Enzo. Unfortunately, we are not going to get to hear this V12 twin turbocharged Enzo another day. Hopefully, hopefully. Like squad, like squad. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to smash the like button. But just like that, this vlog is over and I'm out.